And hello there folks, it's Uncle Troy with a C-Word update. Uh, for those of you not keeping track, C-Word updates where I talk about my battle with cancer. It's not a fun and games, happy-go-lucky type blog like my regular blog. So uh, if that's what you're looking for, feel free to click away. If you want to hear how I'm doing this week, then hang out. Uh, not doing too good this week. Uh, started back on uh, chemotherapy after a couple of weeks off and it uh, hit me pretty bad. I've spent pretty much all week in bed uh, which is why my hair looks like it does and uh, normally I try to you know shower and comb my hair and blow dry it and whatnot before I come on the air but y'all need to just you know see how it is uh, I spent a lot of time in bed this week because I've got colorectal cancer and a uh, paraanal abscess which basically means sometimes I can't sit down and this is one of those weeks where it's uncomfortable to sit down. So I've been pretty much just, you know, hanging out in bed, watching television, doing what I can from the, the bed. At uh, some point, I'm going to have to move my computer over here to uh, the bed and rig up some kind of uh, arrangement where I can, you know, mouse and keyboard while laying flat on my back. And it wouldn't be too bad if I could, like, you know, mount, the, mount my monitor right here above my head. Uh, but... I don't trust my engineering skills that much. If I mount the monitor right over my head, I'm going to wake up one morning with my head crushed flat from a 24-inch monitor slamming into it. So uh, we're just going to keep using the uh, Kindle Fire HD here uh, to record blogs and whatnot. And it's uh, the HD, Kindle Fire HD, not the HDX, which came out just a couple of months after I bought this. Uh, so I kind of feel like, uh, you know, Amazon was like, I don't know. I kind of feel cheated that I bought this right before uh, the new one came out, but that's what happens all the time and all sorts of uh, uh, technology. As soon as you buy one, it's obsolete, a new one comes out. So uh, one funny, interesting, amusing anecdote uh, from this week's chemotherapy. Uh, I was uh, laying in bed about midnight trying to get to sleep, just kind of tossing back and forth. Uh, waiting for my pain pill to kick in and I somebody poked me on the shoulder and I thought why did somebody just poke me on the shoulder I'm here asleep in bed by myself so I kind of turned over looked around there was nobody there so I rolled back over tried to go back to sleep somebody poked me on the shoulder again and so I got confused I'm like wait wait a minute what's going on so I got up turned on the light made sure nobody was in the room with me uh, that there was nobody in bed, you know, that my, you know, my bed sheets hadn't got twisted in a certain way where they were poking me or anything. So turned off all the lights, laid back to bed, laid back in the bed and, uh, rolled over to the other side of the bed rather than where I'd been sitting. And then I felt like a bunch of little insects were dancing all over my back, uh, which was even stranger, uh, feeling. And so I got up, turned on the lights again, and this time I noticed that I had a water leak above the bed. It was leaking down. Let me turn this up here. Uh, up there you'll see the air ducts that feed the rest of the house. And uh, water was leaking from the low point of that air duct, which just happened to be you know, right over where my bed is. So... Uh, I'm like, well, why is there water leaking? So I grabbed a cup, put it under the under the leak, and uh, went upstairs to check, and it turned out that there had been something wrong with the uh, washing machine, our clothes washer. And as such, water had decided to run across the floor into an air vent in the floor, which had ran to the lowest point in the system, which was apparently right there. Uh, right there at that corner which leaked out right above my, well, my shoulder was, or my head, depending on how I was laying. And so, you know, just like, blah, what's going on? So uh, apparently, according to my brother, he's the expert on these things, the uh, water pump that pumps water out of the washing machine failed. And so it, during the wash cycle, the washing machine filled with water, washed, and then supposedly emptied out that water and then was going to refill for the rinse cycle and instead of refilling for the rinse cycle since the pump that emptied the washer didn't empty the washer then the uh, 
it just filled up more and it overflowed and went out onto the floor and ran across the floor to the low spot which happened to be that air vent and then it ran down into the air vent and to the lowest part where it decided to run out into my bed uh, just a couple of cups all told you know not even enough to you know really get concerned about but if you woke up in the middle of the night you know midnight and trying to sleep uh, it's pretty scary so what I ended up doing was I've got a puke bucket hold on just a second Ugh. I've got a puke bucket which is a milk jug which is uh, with the top cut off that I use for when uh, for when my uh, anti-nausea pills aren't enough and so I took that at a bungee cord and I taped it up there or snagged it up there right about center of the screen I can't really tell it's hard to hard to tell but I uh, bungee corded my puke bucket up there um, which naturally caused me to get nauseous because I was standing on the bed and rocking back and forth trying to uh, put that up there but I put the uh, puke bucket up there to catch the other cup or so of water that ended up draining down and uh, in theory, once I had the puke bucket up there and I was catching all the uh, water dripping, then I could have went to sleep. I could have just, you know, drifted off. But instead, I just laid there hearing the thunk, thunk, thunk of the water dripping because I was afraid the bucket would shift or it would overflow and I'd get a whole gallon of water dumped on me at once. And so I just kind of laid there staring at the ceiling, listening to the thunk, thunk, thunk of the water dripping until about 1 o'clock in the morning when it finally quit dripping. Um, so I left the, uh, bucket up there for like two whole days after that, just in case it started leaking again. So, um, my brother, he's ordered the part and he thinks he can fix it. He thinks it's just a simple matter of changing out that pump and, uh, then going back to normal. In the meantime, my nephew, uh, if you know who I'm talking about on Facebook, uh, his, uh, latest Facebook update his uh, snapshot or whatever is at the local laundromat where he goes to uh, wash his uh, uniforms for work now since he can't wash them here at the house and uh, me I'm just luckily I have plenty of clothes so I'm just waiting for the washing machine to get fixed because I don't feel like going to a laundromat and sitting for two hours waiting for you know clothes to get washed uh, maybe next week I'll feel better and fill up to it but next week's when the park's supposed to be in so you know I figure about the time I feel up to going to the uh Laundromat will be about the time that uh, I don't need to anymore. So uh, that's the big thing here is that uh, my water bed, my bed turned into a water bed there for one night. And uh, basically I'm just hanging around trying to uh, wait for this chemo to wear off so I feel better. Um, one of the uh, medications I'm on causes nerve damage. And uh, usually... Uh, what happens is anything I touch or taste that feels cold feels like an electric shock. And I've noticed this time that the taste is not as bad, but the touch is worse. So I can pick up a ice cold can of Coke or something and I can drink it without hardly any shock in my mouth. But then my fingers start spasming because they think they're being electrocuted. So uh, that's fun. But... Uh, the nausea hasn't been too bad, just a little weakness, just general, just generally not feeling well. And not a way you can describe, you can't, you know, I can't say this hurts or that hurts, it's just that I just generally don't feel good and can't get comfortable, whether I'm sitting or standing or laying, and just kind of have to wait for that to wear off and uh, wait for that to uh, go back to normal and about the time it goes back to normal is when it's the time for the next uh, round of chemo that's when I know it's ready to go again so uh, that's where we are on that um, anyway best thought you might like to hear the story of how my bed turned into a waterbed Uncle Troy signing out please have a good night